Well, today's event is the island um, doing a fundraiser, a fun kayak race, because we're a kayaking or a paddling adventure program to try to help support Team River Runner bringing our wounded warriors down here in November when the season opens up again. Jill Mornini founded Team River Runner in 2004 as a way for wounded veterans to combine physical exercise with a chance to connect with nature and other veterans. And this year's event was their largest yet. They even doubled the amount of teams competing in the kayak races. So we kind of added a little twist to it. Three people in a kayak, little adventure, um, give them a gun with water so they can, uh, you know, who's the gunner in the boat. Even though it was a fun-filled day, it was all for a good cause. The 28 teams who competed in the races also helped raise money or donated resources directly to the organization. Uh, everything, all tips, all costs. We donate the beer and everything goes right to the, the cause. So um, this is just a great event. We're happy to be part of it. The event also serves as a leadership opportunity, something Ryan Major has taken advantage of. Major lost both his legs while serving overseas, but after getting in Involved with Team River Runner, he's now begun his own chapter in the States. Just get out here with uh, Team River Runner and uh, to do this event is spectacular. Great people to meet, and, and I love paddling. Um, this is only one of our eight leadership clinics that we do throughout the country for wounded warriors, and we send them home hopefully to take on um, responsibility and coordinating and outreach to get other wounded warriors and disabled veterans and their family members into boats throughout the country in one of our, well, right now, 36 chapters. Five veterans made the trip to St. John's Sunday, but many will be back for their November trip thanks to Team River Runner. For News 2, I'm Erica Bivens.